Many couples begin competing with each other and no longer working as a team. And this is really hurtful for your marriage because you become you begin getting resentful, angry, and really you don't know what's going on, but you're growing apart from your partner. Today on Reaction Reset, we're talking about what happens when your partner becomes your rival. Competition is normal and we all have it to a certain degree with maybe our co-workers, our friends, maybe even our brothers and sisters, but we don't expect to have it with our marriage. Our partner is our team member. We're in this together. We build and create a life. When it happens, it can destroy your intimacy and it can really cause discipline problems because when you parent, you need to work as a united front. If you're concerned that this may be happening, I'm gonna give you some examples below that it could be happening in your relationship. You don't feel safe being honest or vulnerable in front of your partner. When one of you gets an award or there's something that one of you achieves and you want to celebrate, the other one doesn't really want to. And they're the least likely to make an effort to tell their partner how, how happy they are. Congratulations. And finally, this is something I've seen in my office a lot. One partner will try to make the other one jealous. In other words, they're angry and they're going at it in a passive aggressive way. The strength of the marriage comes from couples who complement each other's strengths and weaknesses. When you feel less successful or noticed by your partner, you begin feeling resentful and all of a sudden you no longer want to work with this other person. It begins deteriorating your marriage. Here are five suggestions that are going to help you minimize rivalry and build teamwork in your marriage. First of all, talk about how you feel with your partner. I know this is scary, especially if there's been competition between the two of you, but it's an integral step and you must take it. When you start saying how you feel, what's going on, you're opening yourself to your partner. So in other words, you're making your weaknesses known. If your partner comes back with something that you feel is hurtful, it's important that you will confront it then and address it. Sometimes this step opens up things that have happened long ago in your marriage. If you sense your partner is resentful over some success you've had recently, ask them about it. Don't sweep it under the rug and try to understand it from their point of view. That's with the first step of beginning the discussion and opening it up. Secondly, express your appreciation for your partner. It's impossible to be competitive when couples are appreciative. And if you can change this one tactic, and rather than being sarcastic with their success or little things they do around the house and telling them, I really appreciate it and be genuine, it can really put the marriage back on the right track of being teamwork and helpful. Watch your tone. When competition happens in your marriage, many times you'll see it through the tone. There's little slight terse comments. What you wanna do is when you note that in yourself or your partner, comment about it. Stop what you're doing make eye contact with them. And if it's you who offended, say it. It's important because these have become habitual and anything that's a habit that's learned, you can unlearn, but it takes consciousness, your awareness, not only yours, but your partner's. Fourthly, take time to reassure your partner. Let's not forget that each of us holds the power for the other. So when you notice something your, your partner has said that made them vulnerable or they're comparing themselves to someone else, oh, they look better or they're so much more fit and you know your partner's been trying to lose weight, reassure them that you love them no matter what weight they are and that you will help them get to the goal they want. I think when partners start aligning with each other and really being supportive, that's so much more beneficial to them feeling secure and in love with you again. 
finally focus on each other's gifts. None of us are the same. And the reason you got married was your partner had things about them that you didn't have and you admired those. Take a look at what those are. Maybe there's even new ones. And start being grateful and tell them how grateful you are. Encourage their strengths and what they, the little things they do because that's the essence of having a marriage based on teamwork. It's normal to be jealous and envious of your partner sometimes. It's normal to even think how much better they are in an area than you. I mean, that's going to happen. But it's important that instead of acting out your feelings of envy or resentment, that you talk about it so they can reassure you and appreciate you. That's what team members do. That's what you want to do in your marriage. Remember, change your reaction, change your world.